sure what to think. I'm actually really confused right now, and let me tell you why. Before these images and this teaser trailer were released, all the pre-chatter for Disney's Big Hero 6 pointed to something that was going to be quite sophisticated. Uh, for instance, that Big Hero 6 test of that trolley slowly driving into the San Francisco night, a city that was truly a mashup of Tokyo and San Francisco. It was beautiful in a sophisticated way. Also, that still image of Hero and Baymax sitting atop a blimp in the San Francisco sky, with the sky streaked like that famous image uh, or imagery of the Japanese rising sun. Uh, beautiful stuff. As I said, sophisticated, uh, a true mashup of East and West, uh, a new frontier for Western animation, and something that we've all been very excited about and discussing here on Beyond the Trailer. So I was expecting a concoction, a delightful concoction, something I've never seen before. And then what do I get served up by Disney? A vanilla cone. So I'm just shocked. I'm having a hard time reconciling what I was promised with what I've been given. Now, the reason I say a vanilla cone uh, is not to disrespect this teaser trailer, but to point out its mainstream aspects. Everybody loves a vanilla cone. It is the go-to de facto ice cream frozen treat. Uh, it's the only thing that, for instance, they serve at McDonald's. You want something else? You're un American. Uh, and I worry that this is, by the way, made largely for an American audience, uh, because there's some, there's some anger over the potential whitewashing here, uh, which I'll address in a moment. But, as I said, vanilla cone. However, the reason I'm confused, what's adding to that, not only, not only because this isn't what I was promised, is because I showed this to a couple of people yesterday, because I just didn't know what to think. I was like, am I going to be a hater because this, this isn't what I wanted? So I showed it to some people who aren't comic book readers and who are just Disney fans, and they loved it. They thought it was great. They immediately went, I want a toy of that robot. I want to sniff him. He looks so cute. He looks like he would smell great as a toy. Uh, and they just thought it was hilarious. They were laughing at the robot not fitting into his armor joke. Uh, it was just, it, it, it succeeded on all fronts. It, you know, it, it looks to them, it was the next greatest thing after Wreck-It Ralph and Frozen. Poor Tangled, why is that not included in, as from the makers of this? Why not put as many logos up there as you can? Disney Animation, you know, it's getting so competitive, you need all the edge you can get. But anyway, they loved it. So I'm kind of stuck here being like, uh, you know, my being one of those like, it's not the way it was originally, or it's not what I was promised. I don't want to fall into that category. I want to have fun like everybody else. But at the same time, I think that what I was promised would have been really cool and that people would have enjoyed that as well. So uh, maybe, you know, if, if they keep advertising it, I can slowly come around. But will I want to come around and will others? And that's where we get into the whitewashing angle. This kid's name, oh, by the way, not only does this kid not look Asian, but I asked my friends, I was like, hey, is that kid, uh, does he look Asian enough to you? And they were like, isn't that a little girl? And I was like, wow, Hero has bigger problems than I thought. Uh, but that Hiro Hamada, that's Hiro. He's a little boy. Uh, and they also thought he was a brunette. I'm like, no, he's supposed to be a, a kid with black hair who's Asian. Um, and uh, clearly, that's not the way he's coming across. Uh, but they thought he was, they thought Hashi was adorable. So I guess, I guess Hiro's got that going for him. Uh, but, you know, some people are concerned that this is not, you know, it's not being uh, as diverse as it should be. Uh, and, you know, there's the argument that people say, well, you know, Disney took something that was, you know, for a a Asian audiences and has re repurposed it for American audiences. I mean, we just had this big argument over Godzilla. So I'm curious, does anybody care here? I care. I cared about it in Godzilla, and I care about it here. Uh, and I said that I would, I would take Hero being mixed race, because, you know, the city's supposed to be mixed race. But, you know, he looks to have very little Asian in him at all. And also, uh, they haven't really announced, I think, who's voicing him, but I did look up the IMDb page and they added Josh Hutcherson. Uh, that seems like a, a realistic choice, maybe, to do the voice of Hiro Hamada. And while I like Josh Hutcherson, he is like the whitest person they could find to voice the character. I bet he can't even dance. Uh, so we'll see. I don't know. I mean, we'll see if this becomes a thing. Uh, you know, I had lots of problems with Frozen, but that didn't seem to bother anybody, really, uh, largely. So hopefully, Big Hero 6 has a kick-ass song, which will make everybody forget all of its problems. Sorry, I, I couldn't help myself. Um, I know you guys love Frozen, and I, I respect it as well. And I, I'm glad Disney has a big hit. And I hope they have another big hit here. But I shed a tear for what could have been. And maybe still will. I don't know what the heck happened to that Big Hero 6 test. Uh, maybe when they leave that... Uh, lab, it'll look cool. But it still doesn't look like a Disney property to me. Uh, and it's sad, I guess, to some degree, that for Disney to have a hit, 
uh, their new films can't look like they're supposed to, like they have to lose the Disney trademark look. But anyway, I'm just confused. I'm lost and confused. I'm holding on to my little Baymax pillow crying in the dark, and uh, hopefully I'll feel better after a little bit and I can enjoy Big Hero 6 like everybody else. So I'm curious, what do you guys think? Are you disappointed, or is this exactly what you wanted? Or maybe you're happily surprised. And again, do you think the whitewashing is an issue? I mean, Jamie Chung is in the cast doing a voice. Uh, she seems to be the only Asian person they've signed on so far. And there's Mayor Rudolph, so there's some diversity. Um, but, you know, Big Hero 6 was By the way, Big Hero 6, just to be clear, wasn't created in Asia. It was created in Marvel by Marvel um, by some white guys. And, uh, you know, they just thought it would be cool, and they, they wanted to create a diverse superhero team uh, for Asia, which, you know, uh, Grant Morrison tried to do that for DC, but it just got weird, as Grant Morrison of often does. Uh, so, you know, I think that that original idea should be honored a little bit more than it is right now. All right, write your thoughts down below. Thank you, everybody who asked for this review. I hope you enjoyed it, and you can check out some more episodes right now.